Here's a three minute mastery from module one, Energy Fundamentals. Here we're gonna talk about scientific notation using exponents when dealing with very large numbers. So scientific notation utilizes the same uh, mathematical operators that we otherwise are familiar with, the multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And this scientific notation simply allows us to work with very large numbers. So I gave a, an expression for the speed of light earlier as 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, right? So blah blah times 10 to the 8, right? 3 times 10 to the 8, what that means is there are 8 zeros after the 3. So another way to say the same number is 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 meters per second. And then of course we have to come in and do all of our commas. So we've got some number and then 8 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, it turns out that we can do things with this. We can say 3 times 10 to the 8 plus 17 times 10 to the 4. Well, what would that look like? That would be 3 There we go. 17 times 10 to the 4. I'm going to do my zeros first. 1, 2, 3, 4. 17. Well, that would work out to 300,170,000. Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, so, these operators here all serve the same purpose. We still add numbers or divide numbers or what have you. Uh, it just turns out, it just seems that we're working with numbers perhaps larger than we're familiar with. So, here are some examples. Here's the trick to know. When multiplying, you add your exponents. So 6 times 10 to the 7 plus, th uh, time, sorry, times 3 times 10 to the 2. Well, I have to multiply my 6 times 3, and then I also have to multiply my 10 to the 7 and 10 to the 2, but what we saw here is that I add exponents so I'm going to end up adding these two together. That's going to give me 18 times 10 to the 9. So 6 times 10 to the 7 times 3 times 10 to the 2 equals 18 times 10 to the 9. I've multiplied my bases, 6 and 3, and I've added my exponents. For division, can you guess what we do? We subtract our exponents. So I leave it to you to confirm that 6 times 10 to the 7 divided by 3 times 10 to the 2 would equal 2 times 10 to the 5. For addition and subtraction, we generally uh, leave our exponents the same as we saw earlier, 10 to the 7 greatly outnumbers 10 to the 2, so we don't change our exponents very much unless uh, we have need to. So that would be 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 3 times 10 to the 2, 300, equals 60 million, 300. For your notes, what I'd like you to do is come up with some examples, work through them, and then maybe trade with a classmate, see what, they're, see what they've come up with.